and now it is installing Symfony 4 on my device and once it gets installed I can run it right away with the command PHP space dash uh, big S which means server I guess uh, then space uh, and uh, the address it's gonna be localhost in this case then the port which is optional it might be default 80 I guess and then space then dash t uh, to specify the folder which is going to be your home folder of, of your things my home folder is going to be uh, in the symphony folder the folder public where all the symphony scripts are so once the symphony gets installed i'm going to run this uh, php in server mode uh, it even uh, gives me a hint how to run the Symphony locally, so this is PHP dash big S, then the IP, local IP address. The port is 8000, but I'm gonna use 8080 like I used to use on Tomcats. So this is a habit. So I type PHP uh, dash S dash S. You see it's a little bit slow when you use the, uh, the phone keyboard but it's still doable you don't need to type much normally that's why we use symphony not to type everything but just to be an architect to take pieces and copy them use bundles use templates like tweak for designing you don't need to type much that's why the phone is pretty useful so I just go to my browser, open a new tab. So I type localhost 8080, I execute this and here is my local Symfony installation. So that's it, this is all we need to, to have Symfony installed. Now you can do all the things uh, like normal Symfony for development like creating a new controller and doing all the things i do that normally in v text editor you can do it in any text text editor but then you need to if you want to use another text editor you need to copy your symphony to sd card because now it is located in the folder accessible by uh, termux it's not accessible by any other app so package install and to install uh, file file manager VFM uh, with this file manager you can navigate your folders and files uh, from uh, your termux you don't have to use external file manager command line routine so we install VFM and now we can you uh, edit all the stuff in v, uh, in the Termux you can browse all the files you can uh, edit everything with V but as I said if you prefer other text editor you have to just copy everything outside and you have to give permission to your uh, Termux to uh, access SD card so you go to applications you select Termux and then you open permissions and you allow uh, for Termux to use your SD card file system. Otherwise you can't copy anything into there and you cannot browse there.